Welcome to Foundations of Computer Science. Today, we'll dive into the bubble sort algorithm, from its basic mechanics to its Python implementation and efficiency analysis. Sorting shapes how we manage data. Think of it like tidying a messy room, aligning everything in an optimal order. Spot the difference between our unsorted and sorted arrays. Initially, we see haphazard values paralleling a disorganized room. Post-sorting, the values arrange in ascending order, reflecting the efficacy of sorting. Crucially, this tech routine transforms how databases are searched and algorithms run, elevating their efficiency. Our course will dig deeper into these principles, starting with bubble sort, a fundamental sorting algorithm you'll master. Think of bubble sort as an organizer, carefully comparing and swapping items to nail the right arrangement. To illustrate, let's take the unsorted array 5, 3, 8, 4, 2. The algorithm starts by inspecting the first two elements, 5 and 3. Since 5 is larger, they swap places making it 3, 5, 8, 4, 2. It then compares 5 and 8, which don't need swapping. The next pair, 8 and 4, are incorrectly ordered, so they switch places giving us 3, 5, 4, 8, 2. The same happens with 8 and 2. A swap leads to 3, 5, 4, 2, 8. This methodical checking and swapping continues until our array is sorted as 2, 3, 4, 5, 8. That's bubble sort, arranged and orderly just like our newly tidied room. Continuing to explore bubble sort, we turn to Python for implementation. Here we compare adjacent elements in an array, swapping them if they aren't in order. The critical aspect to note is the use of a swapped flag. In each pass, if no elements are swapped, it signals a sorted list and breaks the loop early, preventing unnecessary iterations. Let's deconstruct our Python code. The outer loop counts downwards from array's last index. Within, we initialize swapped as false and proceed to the inner iterations. Each time we encounter a higher value preceding a lower value, we swap them, simultaneously updating swapped to true. If no switches occur in a pass, swapped remains false, breaking the loop. This intelligent application of a flag can significantly optimize bubble sort, reducing time complexity by foregoing needless passes. Yet implementing this optimization step correctly is often a challenge for many. So ensure your loop constructs account for this clever efficiency trick. Efficiency is crucial to evaluate the performance of sorting algorithms. Here we use big O notation a mathematical notation that unveils how our algorithm behaves with varying input sizes, focusing on time and space requirements. For bubble sort, the time complexity reflects the diversity in the nature of our input data. A sorted list leads to a linear time complexity of big O n, while unsorted lists see a quadratic increase to big O of n squared. Notably, bubble sort does allow us to conserve space, performing sorts directly on the input data set. Hence, its space complexity is a constant big O of 1. To substantiate these theories, we have a graph illustrating the actual versus ideal comparison growth in bubble sort. The practical bubble sort comparisons, shown by a blue line, align with the red dashed line indicating the ideal n squared growth, validating our time complexity. Data sorting holds key insights for practical applications. Bubble sort, which sequentially compares and swaps adjacent elements, proves to be quite advantageous for almost sorted or short arrays. In a comparative lens, bubble sort has an O of n squared time complexity, while quick sort and merge sort operate at an O of n log n complexity by utilizing a divide and conquer approach. These efficiencies, however, pivot on the initial size and state of the dataset. A striking practical advantage of bubble sort lies in its potential to outperform more complex quick sort and merge sort when dealing with small, nearly ordered lists. Simplicity in such cases prevails over complexity, making bubble sort a robust choice in the realm of sorting algorithms. 